Hey, welcome to the Piano Podcast. I'm Mario O'Hara. In this video, I want to show you how to play the opening piano riff to the song Just Give Me a Reason featuring Pink and Nate Ruess, the lead singer for the band Fun. In the first measure, there's three different chords. The first one is the E minor chord and spelled E in the bass with the left hand. I usually use finger number one there. And then in the right hand, I play an E minor chord in second inversion, B, E, and G like that. And you play three of them like this. The next chord that you play is a B minor chord with a D in the bass. First of all, play the B minor chord with B, D, and F sharp. I like using the fingering one, two, four, so then I don't even have to move my hand. And then in the left hand, I play a D with my second finger, and then that gets me my B minor over D chord like this. And then the third chord in that measure is the A major chord with a C sharp in the bass. First play an A major chord, A, C sharp, E. I use fingering one, two, and three, but then I add a C sharp in the left hand with the third finger like that there. And then on beat four, if you are following on in the music, has just an A by itself that's an octave higher. So measure one should go like this. If you notice also I change the pedal every time that the chord changes, like this. In measure two, we have two different chords. One is a D major chord. You play a D in the bass in the left hand, and then a D major chord in second inversion in the right hand, with fingers one, three, and five on A, D, and F sharp respectively. And then you play a D by itself. And then you play a G major chord with a B in the bass. I play B with my third finger in the left hand, and then my right hand I'm playing a G major chord, G, B, D, but then I'm also playing a high G up top like this. One, two, three, five is my fingering. If that's a little bit too stretchy for you, those of you who have smaller hands, you can just leave out the G on the bottom and just play it like this. But if your hand's big enough, go for it and do that. And then play the B on beat four like that. So measure two goes like this. Next step would probably be to put measure one and two together so it sounds like this. Let me do it first in slow motion. Now let me try it up to speed. One, two, three, four. Then in the next measure, measure three, you have a C major chord. Do that in first inversion, E, G, and C with fingers one, two, five in the right hand. And then in the left hand, I play octave Cs like this, C and C with five and one. Again, if that's too big for a stretch of you, for you, you could leave out either, I would probably leave out the thumb actually. So you get that nice beefy C on the bottom. But if you can reach it, go for it. Next chord is a G major chord with a B in the bass, so just move your left hand down to B. And then your right hand's gonna be covering D, G, and B, respectively, with one, three, and five. So those chords are C major, G major with B in the bass, and then the last chord in the introduction is the A minor chord, A octaves in the left hand. Meanwhile, your right hand's playing those three notes, C, E, and A, with one, two, and five. So all three of those last chords go like this. Two, two. Then you have this little fill in that you play afterwards. All it is is highlighting a G major chord with G, B, and D. Except you start with a B and play it like this. Okay, with a little passing note of the A. All right. So last two measures goes like this, two, two, two. And once you get those two measures, 
See if you could add measures one and two to it. Let me do it first in slow motion. One, two, three, four. Let me do it now a little bit closer up to tempo. Ready? One, two, here we go. And that's how you do the introduction. And if you want to learn the rest of the song, you can go to my blog at mariohero.blogspot.com and I'll post up a link to purchase the sheet music there. I'll also post up a link on my Facebook page at facebook.com slash piano podcast. And if you want to check out some other videos that I have, you could find me on YouTube and also on iTunes. That's it for today. Have a good one and keep on practicing. Bye.